So you are the doctor. We meet at last. I wondered if we ever would. The experiment is over. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Doctor Who review. Today I will be taking a look at the 5.5 inch scale Dalek Emperor resin model kit based on the Dalek Emperor as seen in the second Doctor episode, Evil of the Daleks. So this, like I said, is a resin model kit based on Edward Felix's 3D model that Nathan Ward has basically changed so it's affordable for people to buy. Overall this is a fantastic build, I had a lot of fun doing this. So it comes in four distinctive little parts. So you obviously get the skirt, the head, the eyepiece, which is separate, and all the bumps as well, which just makes it so much easier for painting. So the very first thing I did was spray the whole thing in a filler primer from Halfords. And then once the primer had dried, I basically sprayed the whole head and the skirt section once again in the Audi Ice Silver color. I think that's what it's called and painted all the bumps in a humbrol black acrylic, obviously leaving the two smaller ones. And once all the paint had dried on the skirt section, I went in with the humbrol black again. I did all the black sections, so the trim around the bottom and the top, and then it was just a simple task of just gluing down the bumps. So this did take a few hours, just making sure the paint had dried properly and everything. But once the skirt was done, it was going on to the difficult bit now. So the head is a separate piece, so you can either glue it on or you can have it so it rotates like I have done. And basically going in with it, you've got to paint the top of it like a fleshy or lightish brown. And it's the same colour I used on my 7th Doctor from the Virgin New Adventures. It's a close representation, not 100% accurate. And then, like I said, the difficult bit is going in on the black trimming around the actual neck section. So basically, I didn't want to mask it and risk pulling the paint off. So I went in with a really fine brush and just did it freehand. It's come out quite well. There's not a lot of paint blemishes in there. I'm quite happy with it. And then the eye stalk. So you've got the silver rod, which I just left. And then I painted the ball on the end black and then the pupil white as well. And I think it's come out quite nicely. The whole kit is fantastic. Like I said, it's based on a 3D model. So from what I can gather, Nathan's printed it off and then turned it into a resin kit. And obviously when he's done the mold, it's got all the detailing nicely and all the detail is there. So you've got the bits where the wires would attach. So if you want to make a full diorama, you can basically. And it just looks amazing. The height, when you compare it to a Dalek, Without the base, it does look a little bit small, but in the episode it's on a plinth, but the whole proportions and the scaling of this is 10 out of 10, it's perfect. It's definitely the best one on the market. So that's really all I can say. Once again, a massive thank you to Nathan Ward. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. It does help me out a lot. And I will see you sometime in the future for another set of videos which will be a bit delayed at the moment because I'm back to work and stuff. So apart from me going on, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to click below and subscribe. Well, how could I possibly forget that? For goodness sake. You've got the message, haven't you? Don't forget.